So in this video, let it be all about you. How, what you think and feel. There's quite a lot of you that have been viewing the Awaken Brave channel for many years. Some of you I know have been viewing for at least 10 years. From the very, very beginning. And some of you remember my first videos for YouTube were about my first outer body experience. So the question is to begin with, what do you think has changed about this channel? And of course the channel is me, it's my delivery of a certain topic and subject matter. And um, so there's, there's been an evolution of certain things and, I mean, broadly speaking, what's changed from 10 years ago to now, well, I've said an enormous amount of things which ultimately were compiled in a book whereby I consider that I've made a good number of very prominent and important realizations in life of what life is, what spirit is, what the human experience is and uh, many such things. So along the way you have had a personal journey of your own. You've been watching my journey and you can see how there's been quite a lot of changes I would have thought and um, some things have, have stayed pretty well similar you know my inquiry mind has stayed the same but maybe it's more inquiring or it's a deeper level of inquiry because since my first videos I have engaged in many conscious expanding things. So you can speak of what you see, perceived in myself and then tell me some of the pinnacle moments of your personal development, of your eureka moments, your moments of epiphany when something that I've said has meant so much to you. Sometimes you say it in the comments, randomly, un unrequested, but this particular time I'm asking you. And let's just see how many people respond. I mean, if I have, let's say, a hundred regular viewers, then there was at least 50 of those viewers that have been watching me for at least five years. So you know that much. And who watches a channel for that long? I don't watch any channels consistently. And there's nobody on YouTube that I could say I've grown and evolved with, save for Joe Rogan in the early days and Russell Brand. I've pretty well, you know, followed his personal growth through many avenues and portals. And with um, Joe Rogan, there's not been that much growth, uh, to be fair. Of course he's moved platforms and he's moved premises and a little more sophisticated, not always uh, pissed and stoned, um, you know he's had to raise 
to the occasion of, of owning the biggest podcast on the planet, which comes with a certain responsibility uh, imposed upon him for that. Uh, Russell Brand, uh, he uh, acted um, irresponsible and uh, <laughs> childlike on, on many occasions. More mature now uh, because of his family life and his age. But um, I wonder what the uh, what differences have you noticed about the Awakened Brave channel? It'd be interesting to see what your opinions are on that, and also interesting to see the epiphanies that you had, the salient moments in your personal development when something made manifest of great importance. Some people have said a particular video, that was it, from that point forward your life changed and um, be interested to, uh, to have a reminder of those occasions. I had a chat last night with a long-term subscriber, been watching my videos and channels on and off um, for six years and uh, he uh, has grown and matured uh, alongside myself and um, we had a good chat for an hour and a half last night but unfortunately uh, there was something wrong with my audio and so I couldn't upload that conversation but we're going to have others and so um, hopefully they will turn out better than the last one I've lost quite a lot of videos due to this technology which just does weird stuff all the time there's no level of consistency with it it just does different stuff and um, last night it was messing with my audio for no apparent reason but it was inaudible and um, I can't help thinking that lots of this stuff is, is purpose it's for a purpose, it's for a design to increase the level of disharmony and frustration and to force people into giving up on lots of things you may think that sounds a bit weird and overly paranoid and sinister but there is very very powerful sinister undertoes to many things in this life people some of you, you are aware of some of them and others not and when people who are very uh, what do you say they, they, they have discovered something through working in a certain realm or institution for instance you know people who are blowing the whistle who used to work for the CIA or they used to work for um, you know the military industrial complex or you know the deep state in some shape or form when they start blowing the whistle the man in the street thinks these people are insane by some of the stuff that they reveal because there's so many levels to this world the vast majority of people could never absorb it, they could never accept it. Their myopic state of consciousness would frazzle if they had to comprehend some of this stuff. And that's why the powers that be can continue perpetrating this stuff because nobody's ready for it. Nobody just wants to get involved with believing that all these missing children many of which are being sacrificed and the blood's being drank and all this sort of stuff but if anybody else can come up with a reasonable explanation why there is millions of children going missing never to be found again every single year and that figure is growing if anybody can come up with a better more feasible answer then I'm sure many of us will be all ears because all the other things have been catered for 
you know, murders and abductions and, you know, missing for feasible reasons. There's a lot of weird stuff that just isn't feasible. And so, anyway, I'm digressing, I'm shifting again, aren't I? Into a whole different paradigm. So let me bring it back. Let me just remind you, I'm asking you uh, for your opinion on how and what has changed about this channel, my channels. Um, of course, subject matter, topic, delivery, quality, depth. There's these things to consider, huh? I'm asking you to think a little bit here. Might be a bit taxing. You might need to go and lie down for a few days after. But do try. And try and remember the moments in your personal development when you've had an aha moment and you've attributed that to something that I've said. Not just a time in your life, oh, this happened when I was kind of watching you and loads of other people. No. What was it that specifically I said that touched you? Because as we go through life, there's lots of things that touch us in, the, in, in, a, in a special way. And when we are listening to certain people or reading certain subject matter, some things are a whole lot more salient than others. And so I'm asking you to remember some of those.